This is a demonstration of the automatic smart redaction by Wolfcom. I'll select the video, and when I do, you'll notice that this is a 9 second video. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Come on. And this video may be too long. I might not need the entire 9 seconds. So if I want to cut it down, the first thing I'm going to do is select the crop icon here. Come on over here. Yeah. And when I do, there's going to be a timeline that appears on, on the bottom of it or below it. I'm going to go ahead and grab the beginning of the timeline and drag it to where I want the video to begin. In this case, I want it to begin about right here, let's say. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the back of the timeline and move it to where I want it to end. And now that I've made my selection, I'm going to go ahead and uh, title this. So in this case, I'm going to title this as Cropped Video. And I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Now when it do, I do, it now proceeds to crop the video. And it's going to place that newly cropped video in my videos folders right on the very top. Now if you're evaluating other redaction software out there, the challenge when you're uh, evaluating them is to see if they can redact moving objects or moving uh, persons because most of the redaction samples out there that we see is that they are redacting just a stationary person or someone standing still or sitting still so you want to do a test and see if they can redact moving objects I'm gonna go ahead and click on this video here and you can see now that it's a four second video it's been cut down from nine seconds to uh, four seconds and we're gonna go ahead and play it there you go. And so now I'm ready to redact. The first thing I'm going to do is click on this icon here. I'm going to select Smart Redaction. And it's now going to load the Smart Redaction interface and then it's going to load the video. After it loads the video, I'm going to show you this. Uh, on the right side of the screen is your, uh, your tools or your interface. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that this is the keyboard shortcuts. Clicking here is your settings where you could set your transparency for your redaction. You can scroll down and you can see that it also gives you different redaction styles that you could choose from. I'm going to leave it at pixelate because that's my favorite. I'm going to close that. Um, we also can redact audio as well. Um, but this demonstration is just for uh, face, facial redaction. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip this audio uh, segment for now and do it later in another video. Now what I want to do is I want to detect faces. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm going to click Redact. Now you might notice that there are several players in this vehicle. There's this lady in orange, this guy getting out of his car. There's a, a woman standing in, or a man standing in a doorway, and another person standing on a sidewalk. So the first thing that our smart redaction algorithm is going to do is it's going to try to detect all the faces that it sees in this four-second video. Now let's go ahead and and see, and what we, we see here that it's detected two people. Let's go ahead and play it. And there you go. And you notice that it detected this lady twice as person one and person two. So why did it detect these other players? This, this guy getting out of the vehicle, this other person in a doorway, and this person on a sidewalk. And here's the reason why. Because this person is so far away, there's no, uh, uh, their image is obscured, there's no reason to redact, and so there's no face that's detected. You don't need to redact this person. The same thing applies here. This person's face is blurry, out of range of the camera, so you can't really uh, detect that face, and there's no need to redact. And this person's uh, facing the other way, and so there's no need to redact the back of someone's head. But why does our algorithm select this person twice? And I'll show you. It's because during the course of this playback, it first detected her face as person one. But right when she looked away and looked back at the camera, it detected it as person two. And that's because our algorithm isn't human. It doesn't know that it's the same person. Uh, it's 99% accurate, but it's not going to be as accurate as our own human eyes and our own intellect. So what I want to do now is tell our smart redaction algorithm that, hey, this is the same uh, person. And I want to merge these two people. And I do that by clicking on the merge icon here. 
And when I do, both images of person one and person two will appear. And I can see that, yes, this is the same person. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to merge their paths so that it becomes one. And this is essentially telling our automatic smart redaction that, hey, this is the same person. And now we are ready to redact. And we do that just by clicking Save. It's going to take a few seconds or several minutes, depending on the length of the video. And once it's done, we can go ahead and play it back. And there you go. Facial redaction on a moving target. If the system is connected to your network, you can access our automatic smart video redaction from any computer on your network, simply by opening up a Chrome browser, typing in the credentials, and you're in and ready to redact.